morning guys how are y'all doing hopefully you guys are doing good um i wanted to give you a quick update um really quick on what's been going on guys because i know you haven't seen me for a while but don't worry i have been still working i've been doing my thing working towards hawaii i just been having and it's going well i'm drinking my green juice right now we are on our way to a pampering session at somebody's house um we're on our way to the pampering session i have everything with me um that i'm taking to the pampering session and i just wanted to make sure that um everything was put on gps so we're actually going to get there we should get there in the next uh it says arrival time i guess like 10 13 minutes or so so I'm going to go ahead and just chat with you guys and just let you guys know what's been going on, guys. Ever since I have the exact date here in my Boss Bay book. So we're about to get to a red light. Um, so when I, sorry, that was a bumpy road. So the last day, okay, there it goes, February 16th. After February 16th, guys, right now we are on shoot i don't even know what day we're on we're on february the i'm not even sure i'm lost <laughs> but guys after february 16th it has been a little bit rough for me um but you want to know what god is good i have still managed to work through social media i have still had reorders people reordering from me um, I even did a raffle and I made a hundred dollars in a day because I had to stay home and I was like damn I need to do a raffle because I need to make some money I wasn't able to go out today and I was like in my mind I was like I need to make some money like so I just did a raffle sold all the tickets in one day made myself a hundred dollar day and then it ended up being even more than a hundred dollars because even that day um, I had reorders so every single day I've been making money whether it's $40 since after the 16th I wish I would have I wish I would have documented down because guys I have my boss babe book oh my gosh where did it go it fell down or what uh, my boss babe book oh, okay here it is this is the boss babe book that I keep in the car guys and so I always clock in my hours going in and I always clock in my hours going out but since february 16th it hasn't been the same i've been having to change my schedule i've been uh i have been helping out some of you guys consultants um i have been mailing out things i've been shipping out things um because i've been getting orders i've been people uh i still did my friday shows i still was able to have some sales on my friday shows so collect money from that and then um, I guess just going out, people having my information when I do flyers, I ended up finding a new client. Um, you know, she found me from I don't even know where and she wanted to order. Um, I had what she wanted. I went to her house. I went to go deliver. Um, even my son went with me because I went to go deliver while right after I had picked him up from practice. Um, but I just want to let you guys know I'm still here guys and I've been working I've been doing my Jafra and I've been working towards Hawaii guys. I am only about six indirects away from All the sponsoring that I have to do towards Hawaii and we're only on the second month. There's still two more uh, qualification months and so I I'm very grateful I'm happy and I just want to give all the glory and honor to the Lord because the way I feel is that you know what I'm doing my part I believe that God will give you anything that you want your heart's desire but you know what God's not just gonna have you sit there lay back and you do nothing and him do everything like it's not gonna work that way you also need to do your part and so I've been working every single day social media i did a small little live um i even unboxed my video on live facebook um i got to connect with some people message them and so every day god has been good because every day i have been able to pick up orders even though i have been home and this is what i want to get at i want to let you know that every work that you do every flyer that you give out every client that you meet 
I want to let you know that when you form clientele and you form clients, guys, the stuff that they use, they're going to end up messaging you again because they're going to want to reorder from you. And so it's amazing and it's a blessing that when you're not able to to go out like you want, like for me that I'm working towards Hawaii and I'm wanting to go out every day two to three hours or, you know, sometimes even four, like right now I haven't been able to do it. And praise God that I'm in this business that allows me to work my schedule in my way. And so... But you know what, all that clientele, all that work that I've given since October 2019 that I actually decided to start working this business is from October 2019, all the clientele and stuff that I've, I've built and I've met people, I am able to get reorders. I am able to not be working. I'm able to go to the gym and be getting an order from my phone. I'm able to to be spending time with my family in the weekend at the movies and then someone's telling me I'm there telling my husband, "Oh my gosh, they want to order this." Like it's just so exciting because all of that hard work it didn't happen fast, guys. It it, it wasn't something that happened quick. I I've been able with God's grace and God with me he has been able to help me form clientele and form, um, meet new people. And these people are able to reorder from me. So I have to say, even though I wasn't physically able to go out, I hustled. I made some raffles and I was like, no, I have to sell 10, $10 tickets today because I have to make a hundred dollar day. Like I forced myself. I, I went down my clientele and I was like, hey, this is what I'm raffling off. $10 a ticket, one, you know, and you know, that's what I did. And um, I got a lot of reorders and I was able to help one of you guys uh, sponsor somebody under you. And so guys, it's very, um, it's very exciting to me. And I just missed you guys. I missed you guys. Cause I was like, Oh my gosh. I, I was like, I, I haven't been able to come on here. And you guys know that I, I tried to film my, my hours that I'm working with you. Like I tell you, okay, we started the clock at this time and we stopped the clock at this time. And this is what we did. This is how many cells we did. This is what we didn't get. We didn't get cells today. You know, I just tell you how it goes. And, um, well, I haven't told you that because I didn't, physically go out but what I maybe what I should have done was record on a daily basis what happened today and then add all the videos and then just so that you could see how my week went but I'm just letting you know that the week did go well anyways and um you know now we're here on this date hold on guys let me give you the the yeah we're on the 23rd so 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 yeah, basically seven days. There's seven days in a week. So I have not been able to physically go out for seven days. That's one week exactly that I haven't been able to go out and actually go pass out flyers, go work for one to three hours. But I will say that God has been good to me, even though I don't deserve it. He has been so good to me within this whole entire seven days that I, well, this would be the seventh day. No, six days that I haven't been able to go out because this is the seventh day and I am actually going out. But guess what? I'm going to do a pampering session and I'll let you know how that pampering session does. I'll let you know what happens. I'll let you know what was sold. I'll let you know if I sponsor uh, that somebody. I don't know, but I'll let you know we are actually out today. So that does get clocked in in my hours uh, for today. But I just wanted to give you an update, guys. I've been rolling. I've been moving. I've I've been sticking to my Friday shows, too, uh, at 9 p.m. Central. And I have been uh, selling on there, too. So, you know what? God is good. There's nothing to, there's nothing to complain about. I am just trying and I am pushing. Am I at the sales that I'm supposed to be at? No, I'm not. But am I going to get there? Yes, I will. Because right now, I am really just trying to get all my... As a manager, I have to put in... I have to invite people to the business, okay? I already did my part of inviting the people to the business to do the business with me. But I also needed to have 
eight people which are cons eight people that are under me actually sponsor somebody I needed eight like that and so right now I'm down to six I'm down to needing six more people six more indirects and so I'm really trying to get that out of the way but guys I will tell you even Amy will tell you man our numbers are amazing we have never in our lives not even me achieved what we are achieving right now at this moment and it is because god is so good to us and because we are trusting in him and and also because we are putting in that effort we're putting in that effort to work we're putting in that effort to try to meet people we're putting in that effort to to actually step out of our comfort zones and be going out two to three hours a day and you know work and yes, there's been a lot going on in this past six days with me and my family and, you know, certain things, you know, and they're just personal things that, you know what, we don't need to discuss. You don't always need to discuss your personal situations with anybody. But, you know what, I serve a God that does know everything and I am a, I am a strong faith firm believer and you know what in any circumstance whatever comes in my life I don't care they could probably tell me that I have cancer right now I don't care I would declare the word of God over my life I would declare what the Lord says about me and that is what I would do I don't care what report has been given to me that is just me that is who I am I know that God is for me and I know that he is with me and I know that with him I can do all things through him because he strengthens me he gives me that strength he puts what I need in my path and that's just all that I know and I don't know what else to say. I just know that that's all that I know and that's what I stand on. I, my business is firmly standing on the foundation of the Lord. That is just simplified. That's all I could say. I have my business and that's what I want you guys to do. It's firmly grounded on the Lord. That no matter what happens, God is good to me. And I am doing all that I can without stressing. And you know what I have to say? I haven't had stress. I know that these six days I haven't been able to work like the way I always do. And I'm going slow, guys, because it's a bumpy road. The way I always do because so many things have been transitioning. But you know what? I have been, I have been just resting in the presence of the Lord. And you know what? God, you are with me. God, you, if you are for me, no one could be against me. God, you know that... You know, I, I really wanted to go out, but you know what? Right now, it's not the time. You know what? I have to take care of this. But I always tell you guys, put God first. Then if you're married, put your husband second. And then if you have kids, put them third. And then fourth would be your work. Never put work first, okay? Don't put work first in, in, in anything. Of course, you guys are going to do whatever it is that you want to do, guys. But I'm just letting you know how I have my business. So it's God first in my life, then comes my husband, then comes my children, then comes my work, and then comes family and friends. That's how my little uh, order, order of operation works. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Like I said, I share what's in my heart, guys. That's everything that came out of my heart today. And I'm just letting you know the update of what's happening. We're going to go here. We're going to do this facial. I'm going to let you know how everything goes. And guys, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still working towards Hawaii. Amy's still working towards Hawaii. And guys, we are going to go. There is nothing impossible for the Lord. What looks impossible to me is so possible to God. It's like a piece of cake for him. There's nothing to worry about. So guys, I'll let you go because I'm about to get right here and they're gonna ask me some questions before I enter this area. So I'll see you guys soon, okay? Okay guys, so I am here at the client's house now and so this is the setup. She's gonna use her vanity. So she has a big mirror there, perfect. 
And so I went ahead and set my before and afters there. We're gonna be using our Defy because that's what I'm working with. We have to show Dubai because we love Dubai. And then we're gonna do our mask and we're gonna do our mud mask. And this is the setup that I decided to do for her. Of course, we do have, I have like little cotton rounds and all of that stuff, you know, but I just wanted to show you the setup. Guys, I totally forgot to add this one. This one was in my bag. Good thing that the little lady's not over here yet. She's doing something right now, but she let me set up here. And so we got to give her this spa treatment as well. So that one is also included. Sorry, guys. Had to show you. Hey, guys. I'm back. So, guys, um, guess what happened? I did my facial. And the little lady was nice. She was sweet. I do have some... Hopefully you guys like my setup that I showed you. I just did it really simple and then we went ahead and did makeup on her. She looks really nice. I would like to post the before and afters here, but I really don't want to uh, have her on there. Um, but because uh, I don't I don't know how she feels, you know, about being on YouTube and I didn't ask permission for that. So uh, I'm wanting to look over here, but the camera's over here. Um, I didn't ask permission for that, but she looked beautiful the little lady she was real kind she had a dog her dog was really really kind and that's because i get scared of dogs because i've gotten bit by a dog before and the pain of getting bit by a dog hurts and it was a big dog she had a big dog but it was a nice calm bulldog really beautiful but anywho she ended up becoming a sponsor and a qualified sponsor. So I went ahead and did the Defy set. I went ahead and did makeup. And she was willing to make the purchase of everything, which would be like 147 something with tax. And so I told her for $50 more, you can actually get this package, which is our $200 kit that has the Defy. It has the spa. It has the makeup. Most of the makeup that we used on her comes in that kit. And so she was just like that right there. I want to do that. I After everything was done, I went ahead and explained everything to her. And she was like that. She even pointed that that's what she wanted to do. So I went ahead and got her signed up, guys. And so guess what? Now I only need five more indirects for my Hawaii goal. Ah! I'm so happy. I am literally so happy like god is so good and guys i told you i haven't even been out um for six days i couldn't go out for six days but god is good he provided sales for me he provided all that needed to be provided and then today i just literally went out to do this facial and i am about to go straight home and this is a little bit confusing so i'm making sure that i'm coming out of here Hold on. Yeah, I am. I think I am. Yeah, exit ahead. Okay, I was getting a little bit lost. But guys, I was able to do that and I'm so happy because we are literally in the second month of qualification period and I'm already halfway done or almost basically through with my uh, indirect sponsoring that I needed and I'm so, so happy. So I'm excited and um, I'm just going to keep on going, keep on rolling. I'm going to go back home because um if anything i might do a short little live i'm not sure but um i am gonna go back home only for the reason that my little dog just came out of surgery so i can't be away from her that long um she does have a cone on her head like to protect her like she can't get into the staples that she has on her body but she does have a tube that is you know connected to her so um I had told my husband, well, my husband was working in the area, but he was going to be able to check up on her. And so I just told him, I'm just going to go out and do this facial today. And then I'm just going to go straight back home because I need to be able to also take off the cone so that she can, you know, be able to eat comfortably and, you know, drink some water comfortably. I had fed her before I left. So 
um, you know, I just have to go home and, and, and care for my baby. So guys, overall, that is what happened today. And I am super excited because this is going to help me. This is helping me towards my Hawaii goals and towards my Hawaii numbers. And so it just really, really excites me. And I just want to encourage you guys to keep thriving, keep pushing, uh, keep going for your goals don't give up no matter what circumstance comes there was a girl that was sharing um on facebook and we actually talked to her and she's a friend that we ended up meeting at a nutrition club and she's been just saying on how it is that we determine our day you know many things happen and many things transpire in our lives and we're the ones that have to you know we get to choose the day like something bad can happen and we can stay in a bad mood and be ugly to people and you know just just have a negative outcome throughout the whole entire day or you can and you can let that negative circumstance control you and control the rest of the day and then you just have a horrible ugly day or you can acknowledge that negativity that came in and transpired and you can't do anything about but you can still remain positive and for me when negative things come into my life especially the ones that I can't control because sometimes things come into my life that you know what you literally can't control you've already done all you can and you can't control the situation that's happening. Crying ain't gonna change the situation. Being mad and telling people off ain't gonna change the situation. Um, nothing's gonna change the situation. So you know what I do is I just pray. And if I need to cry in the presence of the Lord and just have my moment to just like cry everything out because crying brings healing to your heart. You know, just cry and you just give everything to the Lord because after all, that is what he says, right? He says, give everything to me and, you know, um, uh, what is the scripture? It says, cast your burdens upon the Lord and he, it, because he cares for you. So you, you, instead of you carrying all that weight and feeling that, you just release it and you just talk to God the way I'm talking to you, like, you know, like a friend, however it is that, you know, whatever you feel inside of you, you just release all of that, everything. And you just tell him how you feel and you just cry it out. And then I promise you that if you've never tried that before, go and try that. And you will feel so much more better that sometimes you'll have crazy situations and there'll be people that actually know your circumstance and they'll be like, what the heck? How the hell is she still going? If she... Like they know your situation and you're still functioning. You're still able to, to live life and you're still able to work and you're still able to smile and laugh and be silly. And it's because that is what peace, that is the peace that surpasses all understanding that God gives you. Nobody could understand that peace. It's just a peace that comes over you and no one could understand it because somebody that actually knows your situation is like i don't like what the heck like how is she still even freaking going you know what i mean but it's like you have that peace because i'm able to give all of that to the lord and so guys be encouraged keep going and you know what yes you do determine your day so no matter what happens you just keep going and you make a decision whether you want to remain negative or you want to remain positive but i encourage you give your day to the lord no matter what is happening because you know what these six days that i haven't been able to go out god literally knows that i have given every single day to him i literally have and he knows that i've been wanting to come out and i haven't i haven't been able to come out but you know what i've just had a good attitude about it the whole time and i'm just like i'm not gonna worry about it lord you're in control and i'm just gonna go by the day and i don't know how i'm gonna get to hawaii but i trust and i know and i'm doing my part and you're gonna do your part and that's just the way it is and guys i am only five people away from all my sponsoring 
five more people away and then all I'm doing is focusing on sales, 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 sales. Am I there with the sales yet? The honest truth, no. But I have been doing sales more than I've ever done before. And I really believe that is all, it's all God. It's It literally is all God and I believe in my heart that he is bringing me the people and he is doing exactly what he needs to do. And I am just trusting and I am just doing my part and I am just working and doing what I need to do. So guys, that is what happened today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.